went into my local HMV the other day, which I have every right to do. And it was an amazing thing because pretty much as soon as I walked through the door, one of the main racks in the middle of the store looked like it was all VHS, but if you took a closer look, it was actually re-released Paramount Blu-rays and DVDs, but in VHS style packaging, reminiscent of the old Paramount and CIC videos. Uh, there's quite a few familiar titles in there, like Beverly Hills Corp and Airplane. But this doesn't normally stop me, because I've, I've got them a fair few times. I thought, oh, I'll just uh, change it up, I'll get something that I'm pretty sure I've never owned before. I think I actually rented it from Stu's shop. And the only memory I've got of renting it, if I did rent it from your shop, Stu, was two people walking across a beach and they see like an abandoned Ferris wheel. If you've managed to figure it out from that, you're a freaking genius, because I'm not sure if that's a true memory or not. But here it is, Walter Hills, The Warriors. Uh, like I say, uh, like not super familiar with this film, which is like wanted why I wanted to check it out a bit more. The only other standout memory I've got of this film is uh, one of my mates who I went to school with. He had an older brother in a, a scene reminiscent of the Goldbergs. He had two drawers full of VHS tapes, and they were all copies of films that he'd rented from the video shop. And uh, one of the titles that always stood out to me, and I never got what it was, The Warriors. It was always one of them titles that I found a bit mysterious or a bit scary, like Death Wish or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was wondering what it was like, so that's where that, uh, that, that like, sort of memory sort of sticks with me. But uh, this is the video, we can do like an unboxing of it. Like I say, it looks look pretty legit if uh, you know, you're just looking at it from a distance. Then when you're holding it, it, it feels obviously a little bit lighter than the. Uh, VHS and uh, it's also a little bit smaller at the side but we can do a side by side comparison in a second. We'll open it up there, the actual inner case looks like a VHS and again you know it's like pretty cool when you see it sort of you know on both sides because you've like you know it's like all these there and everything like that so that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll put it up here. Uh, this is though where like I normally think I'm quite a easy going chilled out uh, gentlemen but uh, yeah, they try and recreate that VHS feel from the 80s which you know again I guess they did because like you know that's the instant emotion I got when I saw them in the shop but uh, can you remember ever buying a VHS video that had a free poster yeah no me neither but uh, kind of a cool poster got a good tagline these are the armies of the night they're a hundred thousand strong they outnumber the cops five to one. They could run New York City tonight. They're all out to get the Warriors. A cool poster there. Uh, most people think every uh, film in the 80s had a poster that cool, but uh, fortunately not the case. Um, here you've got a little sticker here you can uh, stick on your lapel for impress your friends. It's uh, exclusive only at HMV, the VHS collection. So. If you're a fan of acronyms, you're, you're having a good day today. Uh, also, uh, again, it's a, a really fun little thing and I feel like all right, it's a right misery guts uh, having a go. But uh, can you remember VHS when it came with a free sticker? Actually, think about it, I don't think I can, but yeah, they've got a nice little free sticker there. You can put it on your school locker or uh, uh, do they have lockers anymore? <laughs> and, uh, You've got a bubblegum card here. This is a bubblegum card number one. The caption says, The Warriors versus the Punks. And uh, apparently, uh, the leader of the dungaree wearing punks roller skates down the length of the stalls. And you've got the dungaree punks. Well, they're the gangs that end up winning at the end of the day. Uh, it'd be good if there's a different card in each one, but uh, probably not. And uh, you've got uh, your Blu ray there. And uh, for some reason, the DVD section doesn't doesn't fold up. So I think you've got like a little section in there where you can uh, put all the uh, the uh, memorabilia that you get with it. I'm sure that's not the correct way of doing it. <laughs> but let's, like I say, compare it to some actual videos from the uh, that time period. This is a uh, good old Airwolf, the TV movie. Uh, a film about a technological aircraft where somebody has to steal it. Hmm, I wonder where they got the idea from that. Thick Russian. And this always, always as a kid, and still now, always amazes me. Why was this an 18 certificate? We'll never know. 
and they're uh, talking about certificates. Uh, this is a U certificate movie. In this uh, series that's been re-released, there's no U certificate movies, but this is uh, the Glenn Miller story. Yeah, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, which means that it's, uh, this video as well has been in the family for a long time. It's got uh, a lot of airplay. And uh, which means that joke, um, Stars in Your Eyes joke, where it says, uh, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Glenn Miller. And then when he just comes back out, it's just a load of fog. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm, that seems to, if I've just imagined that joke, I, I want copyright of that joke because it's a bit good for me. Uh, this is a, a video that uh, again has had a lot of play over the years. It's uh, Psycho 2. I, apparently, I got it from Out the Age, he did 29 pence. I don't know who's pricing up 29p. Surely it's either 25 or 30. I mean, 29p is just madness, but uh, yeah, back in the day, uh, me and Tom did a commentary from this very video. He's buried, he's, he's worked on cartoons, video games, yeah. and worked with people who've worked with Hitchcock. Amazing, wow, like, and, and Saved by the Bell of College years yeah. as well. Never uh, hey, how did this get in here? This is not one of mine, this is uh, Kalanatics there. That actually really does sum up the 80s to me, you know, Jane Fonda and the, the big yoga craze. What's so, uh, a bit like this dead good YouTube clip I found, it's about seven minutes longer than the 1987 Aerobics Championships, and it's just so captivating, just people dancing for seven minutes. But if you want to get the HMV uh, VHS re release version, all the titles are 48 Hours, Airplane, Back to the Future, Beverly Hills Cop, The Blues Brothers, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Scarface. John Carpenter's The Thing, Top Gun, and of course The Warriors. And as always, keep it locked. Thanks for watching The Legends of Cherry Hill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing.